I'm going to show you how to find artifacts in Stalker 2, as well as some things you need to know about how to use them and different upgrades, things like that. But generally speaking, most artifacts are going to be found with the Echo Detector, so make sure you have uh, the Echo Detector equipped. Now, mouse and keyboard, you press by default, press 7, and that will, you know, take it out or put it away. You're going to have to actually be carrying it in order for it to work. I think on controller, you bring up this radial wheel, and then, yeah, you can do also this way on um, PC as well. You bring up the radial wheel while holding tab or whatever it is on controller, and then you can see on the left whatever your button is, so it's Q on uh, PC, for example. So what happens is, whenever you're near one of these anomalies, there's a chance that some of these anomalies will have uh, an artifact. So when you have your echo detector out near an anomaly, if it starts activating, then you know there is an artifact here somewhere. So then it's pretty straightforward. It's just a matter of getting close enough and then finding the exact spot. And as long as you're holding the echo detector in your hand, then you'll uh, it should pop out if you can get close enough. It's just and the position's not always the same. So if you're saving and loading, then it could um it could move. It's not always in the same spot. Oh there, there it is. There it is. Okay, yep. Yeah. I got burnt to death trying to find it, but in my case, it was right here, for example. Then it, uh, an artifact will pop out. These are always the same. I tried saving and loading. It doesn't swap them out. They're, you know, the same one for the same place. So Mama's Beach, for example, is going to be in the magnetic cave right here in the lesser zone. This is where I'm at right now, for example. So then, you know, you just pick it up like normal. This will go into your inventory, and then you can see it in here. Now, they have effects to them, and generally, most of these, what they're going to do is they're going to give you something, in this case, bleeding resistance, at the cost of they're going to continually irradiating, irradiate you. So generally, in the very beginning, you almost don't even want to use these things, but later on, um, it does change. So in order to equip them, you can bring them over into here, or I think maybe just right-click equip them. Uh, maybe you can't right-click equip them. Well, either way, you equip them on your armor. And in the beginning, your armor is only going to have one slot, but later on, you can get more slots. Also... You can upgrade your armor, add a technician. So if we go to our armor, I'm not add a technician, but this slot right here will let you get this, which will let you equip another artifact. Now the thing is though, that in order to use artifacts that give you that irradiate you, what you need is later on in the game, you'll start finding our artifacts that their main buff is resistance to radiation. So you can put on one that irradiates you, and then you could also put on one that reduces radiation. Also, much later on, you can also find gear that, like armor, that does the same thing where it increases your radiation protection. And then if you combine those things, then you can have enough, you know, bandwidth left over to be able to equip things that radiate you, but then also give you a buff. So that's kind of how you actually use artifacts. They're also worth a lot of money. But that's how you use artifacts without just dying, you know, constantly having to drink vodka and do things in order to keep the radiation down. Now, you can find them randomly out in the world, but that's super rare. Generally, it's always going to be you're going to find anomalies and you'll, you know, this thing will go off and you'll find them near the anomaly. And that's how you find artifacts. So hopefully this helped you out. Now you know how, not only how to find artifacts, but also how to use them. You know about the radiation, some of that stuff, and how it all works in Stalker 2.